Hello and welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add suffix in Microsoft Excel. Adding suffix means you are adding text after your specific cell data. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Now take a look at this workbook here. We have name and company name and these are fake that for example and I want to add let's say department name. All three are from management so I'm going to add hyphen MGT to all three of this text. Now this is just an example. Your data could be a long list and this is why you need to understand this so I'm going to use VVA you can add suffix using function we have created a tutorial you can check that here but when you are adding a function then you will need a helper column suppose you have a long data set and you don't want to add any helper column then you can do the same thing using the VBA and I'm going to use the VBA here and you can just copy the code from the link in the description and you can use it on your project so for that, first click on the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab, check out this tutorial. You will learn how to add developer tab in Excel. Now, once you have added your developer tab, click on that and then click on Visual Basic, click on Insert and click on Module. Now let's write the code. First, we're going to add the subrouting name. I'm going to write add text on right. If I press enter, you can see open and close parentheses are already added and n sub is already added okay now let's fast forward the processing of writing code once i have written it i will explain how it works so this is our code let's explain it the first is the comment this is our website you can check it if you want and then we have declare a variable range rng as range and we have added another variable which is work range it's also a range and then we have added str as a string and the variable then here we have added on error resume next this is error handling and if we find any error in the code VBA will overlook it and it will move to the next section of this code okay now here x title id within parentheses this text will be displayed on the pop-up box we are going to get in or when we run the code and then we have our error handling here and now we are setting the work range okay work range will be our selection okay so once you run the code you will get a prompt to select your range and that selection will be passed through the work range variable that we have already declared as range okay so work range is a range selection that we are going to select in this section then we stop the error handling and then if work range is nothing so the selection you did if you cancel it then our code will exit okay then we have our condition closed end it and then the last thing we are going to add the text to the right of our existing data set okay so our string variable will be another input box where we are going to add text okay here type 2 this will indicate we are going to insert a string okay and here type 8 this indicates we are going to insert a range okay and once we have selected our range we have given our text then we are going to run a loop so here is our for each range that means for each cell within our selected range the cell value which is rng range value will be equal to the existing text and the string we are going to add remember we didn't add any extra spaces here so in the text box if you add a space our data will work accordingly okay and then everything is done our code is ready it will close it and then we have our end sub okay so hope you understand now close the vv and now i'm going to run the macro so i'm going to click on macros and you'll find add text on the right okay if you have a lot of macro you'll find them listed here select this one and click on run so our pop-up is here you can see msxltutorial.com this was the title we have explained it in the code and now it's asking for a range remember our work range variable we're going to select that so i'm going to select this here this three range is our selected range i'm going to click on ok and now it's asking to add a range okay so i'm going to write a space and then i'm going to give a hyphen and I'm going to add another space and i'm going to write mgt so this is our suffix 
okay but remember i have added two space that means you have to add spaces here if you want to add space in your data so i'm going to click ok and you can see let me resize the column and you can see our suffix is added here okay so this is how you can add suffix in microsoft excel using vba or this is how you can add text after your existing text in excel now if you want to use this code frequently your workbook has to be saved as .xlsm format so you'll have to click on file click on save as select your location give it a name and then click on this drop down save as type and from here you'll have to select excel macro enable workbook and if i click save you'll be able to use the same macro again and again if you don't save the workbook as .xlsm, next time you open the workbook, your video code will be gone. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. If you want a code, you can check out the link in the description and you can copy the code from there. Thank you. Thanks for watching.